Okay, we're back. Um, so, like I said, say we're doing 573 on, on the E minor. I'll just call it an E minor. It's a Phrygian. Uh, you know, it's a it's a first inversion or second. It's first inversion Phrygian. And then you look down, straight down on this chart to the 5. And you say, aha, I can go, I can, you know, get into a little bit of something else there. I, I, that wasn't going too easy for me because this isn't the chart that I started this little technique on. Look down here. Wait a minute. There's no 5. There's no 3 there. Okay. So that's because it's not in that scale. But um, then you can, move, you know, you can go to another scale from there. So you could go to the Dorian. That kind of thing. <clears throat> I don't feel lucky, so I'm not going to try that. But so you, I can use these three keyboards. This one's Phrygian Lydian, or the third and the fourth. This is the fifth and the sixth, and this is the second and the seventh. Did I cover them all? Ionian is up here. Sorry, it's four keyboards. <laughs> and Ionian and then the, the pure second is is here. So you can use the three. Uh, the three charts to kind of bounce back and forth. I didn't want to, you know, if, but if I put it off too long in the video, we might not get to it, you know. So starting on this five, let's say here, I may go past the capo on my guitar, you know, you go five root three. But if I look down here, I can look at that five root, that five Okay, now it's not root anymore. If I go to the root, I'm going into the F, the F uh, arpeggio. Up to that 6, now to the left to the 5. Now down one, one fretboard to that 5, up to the 7, 5, 2. The red thing right here. So you can use the fretboards as a way to kind of like, you know, um, know your way around like that. And I found that was really cool when I was playing that last night. All right, moving along here. Uh, we're starting to get into what I call the, the double cage arpeggios. And that's kind of a crass term, you know, kind of a, kind of a, a you know, um, I don't know, say just a sloppy way of putting it, but it's not. So here I'm starting to get into, well, I saw these arpeggios. Here's 357, 357. Remember, start on a 357, it ends on a 357. Another way of looking at it is you just do the arpeggio and then do it again. And it goes up the fretboard from from bottom to top every time but where is it you have two warping over on the top here for to bring this long one this is a, a G long and that three is considered two on the bar for the G for the first inversion all right so that's a chord two on the bar where's my two on the bar Seven, uh, five, three, seven, right? I am not getting, I am not being lucky right now. That's five, three, seven. Did I say five, three, seven? Five, seven, three. Yeah, that's first inversion. But really, what we're doing here is we're doing root twice. Root root it's just that this one's warped over so that's a good way to learn those shapes oh my goodness learn those shapes let's let's try a dorian well let's get the let's get one that's fully okay so we're getting into another problem we're going to try we were going to try one more we want to make sure that one more that we try is fully in the two boxes all right and guess what all of them are fully in one uh two boxes they're not very neatly packed like two of them into one so this is <clears throat> notice this aeolian goes out of the box this is coming in from over here 
So um, this one probably is part of another situation, such as over here. It starts here and goes in here because this chart was made earlier before I resolved it for you today, and I have that chart coming up. So this is how I resolve my um, guitar problems. Here we have the root, <coughs> the Ionian, okay? So G is the root shape. So the first box is root shaped. So here's our root shaped um, C chord, whatever you want to call it, root chord. It would, can you see it would be C? All right, and then we have three to the bar right here. Three on the bar. So and then we just do another root shape chord, except instead of going over the two of these guys, these two guys right here, they're warped over. And there, how many frets are they warped over? One. So now they look the same. R, R3, 5, R3, 5, you see? Except there is no warp there. I wonder if we could like, <laughs> yeah, we got rid of our little change there by changing charts, sorry about that. Anyway, so the, the Ionian arpeggio starting from the root um, goes across these boxes. The G box, all right, which is the R box. And then we have our lone seven out there. So that's got to be part of the box. All right, so it's... Now, strictly speaking, I would color this yellow if I was concerned mostly uh, with Ionian. But for now, we're just keeping the color patterns to the arpeggios. So this is you know, just whatever it is. Remember, this is an earlier chart. I haven't uh, fine-tuned it. So we go up there in that chart, and it crosses over out of the G chart, and there's one lone five up here, but that is important. I can't forget that kind of thing. Where is our root chord now? It's saying A root. It's in the A, D, E box. Okay, so that would be... Whoops. Let's try that again. There it is. Lately, I've been having, like, lately, like, since last night, I've been, I guess, staring too much at the charts and not not doing enough I got the best chart right here the thing to remember is play the chart first and then your homework is to play without the chart you know what I'm saying that's that's how to do it if you don't do your homework how valuable is the class that's something that's a tough lesson I learned early on in, in, in college you know, it stops doing the homework they stopped even assigning homework I would just read through the examples. So that, you know, this is this tripentatonic thing, and um, all of these are are important, okay? But the the Ionian arpeggio is at the A shape, and there's your A. You know how you make your A there? Five root three. It's your A shape there in that particular box that it goes to, R being the, uh, the C, key of C, so it goes. See, anytime you, you're making like an A, you know, you're doing your A here, you know. That's the end of that arpeggio. All right, but most people just just hit it like they don't even know they're hitting it because it, it's it's an open chord. 
So let's move along to the uh, the newer chart. 